Hi, I'm Los Angeles City Council Member Jose Weizar, and we are here today dedicating a memorial to Jonathan Gold. Good afternoon. Can you hear me out there? Yes? Yes. All right. Well, thank you very much for being here. I'm Los Angeles City Council Member Jose Weizar, and it's my pleasure to welcome everyone. Thank you. It's my pleasure to welcome everyone here today for a very special recognition a ceremony honoring the Jonathan Gold, a true Los Angeles treasure. Jonathan was and is an inspiration to all of us as Angelinos. He inspired all of us to go out into the wonderful and diverse communities of Los Angeles and not just learn about food and people, but ultimately to learn about ourselves and our communities. He didn't just celebrate great cooks and chefs, he celebrated the vast, varied, and beautiful communities that together make us all Angelinos. The gift that he's left us through his writings is one we could never truly pay back, but we will try nonetheless. And that's what we're doing here today. Today we're unveiling a plaza memorial to Jonathan Gold outside Grand Central Market. The Grand Central Market is where the Los Angeles' diverse food and culture intersect under one century-old roof in the heart of downtown LA. This is the perfect place to honor an icon such as Jonathan Gold. This plaza will contain these two light poles you see here with a replica of Jonathan's uh, side profile. We also have a plaque that would commemorate the work and writings of Jonathan and we will have an extended sidewalk with sparkles that we will call the Gold Sidewalk here in downtown Los Angeles. He loved Grand Central Market and was such an integral part of highlighting this space and others and the depth and diversity of Los Angeles through its delicious food. And we know that this plaza is but our token of, a pre of our appreciation of what he did for us to bring us together, show us new neighborhoods, talk about people we probably would never speak to, and to tell us about where we can find some great food. I want to thank the Gold family, the Los Angeles Times, Mayor Eric Garcetti, and Grand Central Market owner, Adam Danishkar, for bringing us all together and working to make this possible. To speak a little bit more about the actual sidewalk here, 10 years ago, we embarked on an initiative called Bringing Back Broadway. This initiative's intention was to highlight this beautiful street, highlight the 12 historic theaters that we still have on this street, and to make sure we remind ourselves of the historical significance of this street. The permanent sidewalk here that you see, we will eventually have a permanent sidewalk that extends up to the temporary bollards, and that will have gold speckles as part of the overall dedication for Jonathan Gold. We are currently undertaking an effort to complete that project by the year 2020, but we are very excited that with the sidewalk, the light poles, and the plaque, we will be able to walk through here, remember what it means to be Angelinos, remember what it means to come together as Angelinos, and to remember what it means that all people are relevant in the city of Los Angeles, which is something that Jonathan Gold taught all of us. So thank you for being here. Thank you for being here, and I'd like to introduce to you Deputy Chief of Staff for Mayor Eric Garcetti, Matt Zabel. Matt. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Council Member. Uh, Mayor Garcetti uh, very much uh, wanted to be here, but unfortunately he's out of town this weekend, so I'm going to just say a few words on uh, his behalf. Um, I got to know Jonathan exactly the same way millions of Angelinos and readers around the world did. Uh, by eagerly sopping up his poetry every chance I got, and then e just as eagerly seeking out whatever spicy broth that week's writing invited us to experience so that we could share that experience with him. 
As the mayor said the day of Jonathan's passing, he not only was a poet, but a historian and a documentarian of the rich cultures and diversity Angelinos expressed through their food. And his writing was always an open invitation to Angelinos and people across the world to experience Los Angeles, its culture, its people, through its food, especially, especially if it was different than what you were used to. And what really represents the spirit of Los Angeles better than that? So this monument is very fitting because it stands as a shining, open-armed invitation to Angelinos and visitors alike to learn about and remember Jonathan's life and contributions and to experience this particular slice of Los Angeles food culture right here in Grand Central and also the history of this historic corridor which Councilman Guizar and entire, the entire team Guizar is working so hard to revive once again. Uh, now, some of you may know that city government isn't necessarily well known for speed and efficiency. So one of the things that I liked best about this monument was how quickly it came together. Um, and it took a full team, public and private, uh, to make it happen. So I would just like to thank uh, Grand Central Market on behalf of the mayor for hosting the Sidewalk of Gold, for funding the plaque. Uh, I'd like to thank Matt Peterson and the LA Cleantech Incubator for fabricating the medallions. L.A. Moss for designing the street lights and the, and the medallions and the plaque. Um, I would like to also acknowledge the city's Bureau of Street Lighting uh, for funding the street light and medallion design and painting the street Council lights. Council. I would like to thank Councilman Guizar uh, for hosting the dedication and the Future of Gold sidewalk as part of the Broadway streetscape improvements. And then also I'd like to acknowledge and thank members of the mayor's office um, Deputy Mayor Barbara Romero, Liz Crossan, Jennifer Pope McDowell, um, and also the Los Angeles Times, uh, and Susie Jack, a former colleague of ours who we worked closely with to make this happen. Um, so we're very much looking forward to this dedication and the future dedication when the sidewalk is complete. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Matt, and thank you to you and the mayor's office for your dedicate for your uh, uh, commitment to this project. And like he said, this was done in light speed and compared to a lot of things that happen at the city. And uh, our next speaker is the owner of Grand Central Market. Uh, before I bring him up, I do want to acknowledge uh, the previous owner who's here with us, Adele Yellen, who was uh, the owner of uh, Grand Central Market for some time. And I'd like to bring up Adam Danichgar, owner of Grand Central Market, who helped us all get uh, be here today. Thank you so much for your commitment. Thank you. Our ownership group uh, recently took over ownership. It's been less than a year. But as a native Angelino and a major food enthusiast, uh, I'm a sincere admirer of Jonathan Gold. So I feel very privileged and honored to be here today. Uh, I'd like to take a moment and kind of tack on to what the councilman said and acknowledge uh, Adele Yellen, previous owner of Grand Central Market, and your late husband, Ira Yellen, uh, after which the intersection behind us uh, is affectionately uh, named Ira Yellen Square. It was through your uh, leadership and vision for over 30 years that you curated the market that Jonathan Gold came to appreciate and love. So thank you and Ira very much. You know, through our first uh, few months of ownership, I spent a lot of time here and I'd see Jonathan walking through the market, discreetly eating lunch, shopping, and, uh, you know, it wasn't, his patronage wasn't uh, work-related. You know, he wasn't necessarily here all the time writing stories, and uh, this was just somewhere he wanted to be, like the millions of other visitors that, that come to Grand Central Market every year to enjoy, uh, you know, the unique spirit of this place and a celebration of the many cultures that are represented in one place and it made me very happy to see that because I believe that from Jonathan's perspective Grand Central Market is a true microchasm of his view of Los Angeles you know to use his several beautiful quotes uh, you know kind of all together it's a collection of multiple cultures uh, uniquely manifesting their roots through the celebration of culinary experiences and uh, 
when I finally had the opportunity to introduce myself to Jonathan as the new owner of Grand Central Market, the first thing he said to me was he stopped me and said, I'm here every day. You know, whether he was having lunch, shopping, or just wandering the, the aisles and just soaking in the experience, he was here every day. So I can't think of a more appropriate place to honor his memory than here at Grand Central Market. So again, I'd like to sincerely thank Councilman Huizar, Mayor Garcetti, for bringing this all to life. It's a truly special, special tribute uh, to the Gold family for helping us bring this together, the LA Times for your support. And I take solace uh, in knowing that uh, through this tribute, Jonathan Gold will continue to be at Grand Central Market in spirit and in tribute every day moving forward. Thank you very much. Councilman. Thank you so much. And you know, as we end uh, today's dedication, it just strikes me that uh, it's rare to have someone like Jonathan Gold come to Los Angeles, be in Los Angeles and impact so many of us. And uh, whether, you know, it's this food and recognizing that we're all, we all matter and the city of Los Angeles as we're making policy and talk of, um, trying to push forward a sidewalk vending ordinance. You know, he's a guy that goes out there and talks about some of the vendors in our streets and what great food they're bringing to us and acknowledging uh, individuals that, uh, that are out there not only providing great food but trying to make a living. So he's, he's impacted policy, he's brought us together, uh, he made us prouder to be Angelino. So thank you so much, Jonathan Gold. And on behalf of all of us, it's now our pleasure to dedicate the Sidewalk of Gold who will, that will be here soon when we start our extension of the permanent sidewalk, the historic gold light poles, and the gold plaque to the wonderful life of Jonathan Gold. And tonight, if you go over to our ceremony after this, you'll see that we've lighted up City Hall in a color of gold. And here to help us recognize our dedication today is his brother, uh, uh, Mark along with his family and if you could uh, please come on up and help us dedicate the uh, plaque and unveil it. Please give a warm welcome to Jonathan Gold's family. Thank you. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, Jonathan Gold's family with us. They're going to uh, announce who's here. Thank you. Introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Lori Ochoa Gold, um, Jonathan's wife, and uh, and I just want to thank Councilman Guitar, um, Mayor's Office. This is incredible. Um, this this is a second home for us. Uh, we were here all the time, and we'll continue to come with our family. So thank thank you very much. Thank you. All right, my name is Leon. Thank you to the mayor's office and everyone who helped put this together. This is really great. And also, thank you to all the cooks and everyone who, everyone who made this town such a lovely place for him to write about because, trust me, he wouldn't have been able to write about it without the people creating the things for him to write about. Um, I'm Mark. I'm Josh. 
and we're Jonathan's brothers, and thank you guys so much. This has really been a, a wonderful tribute. We appreciate it so much. Yeah, absolutely amazing, and thank you. So thank you so much, and I hope you uh, come out and enjoy us up by uh, the Hill Street Grand uh, Park, by Hill Street, for the public ceremony and celebration. Uh, and uh, we will also show the documentary City of Gold and feature some of Jonathan's favorite food trucks. Please join us at Grand Central Park. Thank you so much, Grand Park. Thank you.